Well, folks, I know there's always a lot of stuff going on with good old Tesla Maesla and going on with Elon Musk, and there's a lot to always pay attention to, and that clouds the mind. But this is amazing because I'm witnessing right in front of my eyes right now. There's something massive that's coming that Elon Musk has planned, Tesla has planned for this upcoming year. And people are just completely forgetting about this massive, massive thing that's coming. I'm seeing, I would say, less than 1% of the talk I see out there around Tesla stock, around Elon Musk, is about this one specific thing that's coming for the company in 2022. And I'm just like, how do people even forget about this? Like, how is this getting less than 1% of the talk time and attention out there right now in this sort of environment? And like I said, I can understand there's a lot of stuff always going on with Tesla stock and with Elon Musk to keep up with, right? I mean, obviously the stock's been dramatic recently. It went on a massive run. It's come down from that massive run, but it is still, you know, obviously significantly above where it was at. It's at about a trillion dollar market cap as we speak right now. Over the weekend, all of a sudden there's this story blows up, right? Which is around Elon Musk and Bernie Sanders right? And uh, essentially a little uh, Twitter war. Last weekend, the previous weekend, right? It was about Elon Musk selling Tesla stock. This weekend, it's all about this Elon Musk versus Bernie Sanders thing everybody's talking about, right? Bernie Sanders says, we must demand the extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period. Elon Musk says, I keep forgetting that you're still alive. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, and then, you know, you got people on both sides of the aisle when it comes to this, right? And it's going to get everybody's attention. This guy says, alive and still selling uh, his snake oil from one of his four houses to 20-year-old social studies majors in regards to, uh, obviously, Bernie Sanders there. Uh, but then you got people like Robert Reich here. He says, so let me let me get this straight. Elon Musk accuses senators who want to increase taxes on billionaires of socialism, but has no problem collecting billions in government subsidies to get Tesla off the ground. Oh boy, somebody give me my tea, okay? Let's have a little sip, because... I mean, uh, uh, you know, you, you can't you can't say anything about that because it's like, oh, that is kind of true, okay? Tesla probably wouldn't be around if it wasn't for all the, the government subsidies over time. So he has a bit of a point. And then uh, you got people that make this point, right? Elon Musk created an electric car that changed the industry. He created a successful space program. He's a visionary that will change, uh, change medicine forever. What has Bernie Sanders done? Yeah, so needless to say, everybody's caught up into this now, this uh, Bernie Sanders versus Elon Musk situation, right? Last weekend, it was Elon Musk selling Tesla stock. That that got the, all the attention, right? And uh, Elon Musk sold $6.9 billion of Tesla stock this week. And so obviously, Elon Musk selling some Tesla stock to pay taxes, right? This is a huge, huge news story that people are covering and are going to continue to cover, right? But this isn't like, none of this stuff that's going on, Elon Musk selling some of his Tesla stock, which is a small percentage of what he actually owns, uh, him, him, you know, beefing with Bernie Sanders, like none of this is game-changing stuff for, for Tesla stock, to be quite honest. Right, you have a lot of people talking about the valuation of Tesla stock since it's gone up a lot. Right, Ford P of 125. Well, if that's just a market in general, 125 is ridiculously high. Right, but I mean, it's kind of expected. Like, like te Tesla is a stock that should usually trade at a Ford P of 100 to 150. Why? Because they have ridiculous growth for as long out as the eye can see. Right, and their technology is ridiculous. So of course, this company should trade at a much steeper valuation than where everything else trades at in the stock market. 100 to 150. Ford P for, for Tesla at this stage in the game is pretty reasonable, actually. Okay, so 125 is nothing crazy. Never mind. What if they come in with better profitability numbers? But a lot of people are talking about valuation. I made a video, probably didn't title the video the best, uh, but basically, this video here, okay. In that video, I'll go all into Tesla's current valuation, where I think it's going over time. It says, watch this first. And uh, man, I've created a lot of videos in the last 11 days, but that video is really good. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, notification bell on. But this video here, I went in, on the main channel, I went into depth on the valuation, the fact that Tesla could end up potentially doing $10 billion or more than $10 billion in net income in 2022, which would put this company at a trillion dollar market cap at a Ford P of 100, which once again is not crazy. Like that's not a crazy number at all for Tesla, my Esla. If that's Coca-Cola train at that, oh, get a little worried, right? 
everybody's talking about this also, right? Uh, the Gigafactory Berlin. But this isn't this isn't the, the much bigger thing, in my opinion. This is big. This is huge for Tesla in regards to, obviously, their European opportunity. Having a factory over there, you know, also having access to that amazing talent pool over there in Europe is, is great for the company. And this is going to help them deliver, hopefully, a lot more cars in Europe and hopefully bring down costs as well, right? And think about the, you know, the freight, the shipping cost of basically getting cars over to Europe if you're producing them in the United States versus if you're producing them already in Europe, right? So that is great news, but this isn't this isn't even the biggest thing going on for the company in 2022, right? The Austin Gigafactory. This is big, okay? This is massive. This is exciting. This isn't even the biggest thing going on for the company. And this is this is huge, right? Like this this factory is going to be a beast and uh, this is really really exciting uh, for all of us Tesla shareholders. The fact that Tesla is now going to have a third true gigafactory in the United States of America, right? They obviously have the one in Nevada, they have the one in California, the Fremont one, the original one, right? And to have this one now, this is huge, right? The one that's in uh, you know, Buffalo, I don't really count that one as a, a big beast, but this is a big beast. This is this is great news. But that's still not even the, the biggest thing for the company. What about the fact that they basically, if you order a Tesla today, the majority of their lineup, you're looking at six to 12 months before you even get your vehicle. This is huge for the company. There's no doubt about that. This is still isn't the biggest thing, but this is just like more great news. Like Tesla has no demand issues. They have demand as far as the eye can see out there. People are ordering these cars, even if they are not going to receive them for months to go in the future, if not a year to go in the future. Like I know several people that have ordered Teslas recently and they're looking at anywhere from nine months, 10 months, 12 months before they're supposed to receive those vehicles. Like it's a substantial wait time model wise tearing it up. I think that's just going to continue to tear it up. Like the numbers are extraordinary. This still isn't even the biggest thing happening for the company in 2022. Although this is phenomenal news, right? This is great news for the company in 2022, and this still isn't even the biggest, right? EV sales are going to just boom over the coming years. And I think, I'll be honest, I think these numbers are low. When you look at the sales forecast for electric vehicles, and you think about the marketing dollars that Big Auto is going to spend for EVs over the next several years, right? Now that a lot of the big auto has EVs coming out in the market, they're going to spend aggressively. People still might not buy those EVs, but they're going to try and they're going to spend and they're going to spend and they're going to spend. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just going to bring more attention to electric vehicles. I think these numbers are going to be even more substantial, but these are these are phenomenal numbers, right? And so this is great news for Tesla being, you know, the big dog when it comes to EVs, the most famous EV company by a mile. And Tesla has something going for them essentially, where if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, right? Tesla is going to come to your mind first over every single other company out there, right? So now being every single other auto manufacturer, you're going to have to try to prove that your product is superior, better than Tesla to get somebody to say, okay, I'm going to go spend my 50K with this company or 70K or whatever it is with this company versus spending it with Tesla to buy a Tesla EV. That's something massive that I don't think a lot of people have even thought about. And uh, I think a lot of people should definitely consider this. Okay. Great news. Still not the biggest thing for this company in 2022. Autopilot, another year of autopilot, self-driving. This technology is absolutely amazing and another year of adding extraordinary developers to this program is gonna be great for Tesla and another year of development in general is gonna be great for Tesla. But let's be quite honest, the autopilot program, self-driving vehicles, that's not changing the game for Tesla in 2022. 2023 through 2040, this is massive and a huge, huge deal, but this still isn't even the biggest, although this is really, really dang exciting. Everybody's been talking about this. The Hertz deal for 100,000 EVs, right? Well, remember, Tesla already has ridiculous demand, so just another 100,000 EVs is just another huge number, right? Another $4 billion potentially of revenue there. And, uh, you know, this is great news. There's no doubt about it. If, if Hertz is to place this order and it's all to go through, having a ton more f uh, folks able to try Teslas, out there on, on you know basically fleets that people are renting these cars it's great news for tesla because the fact is the more people you get into a tesla that try the product the more people that absolutely love it they go tell their friends and family oh this is so awesome i drove a tesla it was amazing they go get one it's phenomenal and so this is this is phenomenal news and i know a lot of people looked at the the or some people looked at the order size and they said well it's only a four billion dollar deal potentially 
That, that goes a lot further than $4 billion of revenue, trust me. If there's all those 100,000 EVs that are out there over the coming years that people are getting to rent, that's just another huge bullish catalyst for Tesla that will drive a ton more you know, revenue down the road, okay? And never mind other companies you know, buying EVs as well, never mind parts and all those things that could go wrong over time. It's great news, okay? But the fact is, all that is not even as important as this thing we're about to talk about right now. And here's the thing, this is not even getting 1% of the attention or talk time right now. The most talked about vehicle in history was shown off in 2019. I know 2019 seems like 100 years ago, right? Because right at the beginning of 2020, we went right into the Rony Rona and the world was forever changed, right? And everybody got distracted by that. But people forget that the most talked about vehicle in history and not even close, okay? Like there's this vehicle in terms of how much attention it got and every other vehicle in history, probably Model 3 is like somewhere like right here and then like nothing's even remotely close to those two vehicles, okay? And this is in a category by itself, okay? This vehicle, and this is the biggest thing that no one's talking about and is massive and go, is going into production 2022, is that baby right there, the Tesla Cybertruck. This is the biggest deal to hit Tesla ever, ever, okay? And no one is talking about it. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, people, do they forget this? this is going into production? No one's talking about it. It's getting no attention. And this is going to be, this is the, 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 the most bullish catalyst for Tesla's ever had in its history. This blows away Hertz deal. This blows away anything that Elon Musk is doing on Twitter. This blows away autopilot and what that means for the business in the short term, although that's a big uh, long-term potential revenue driver. This blows away the valuation. This, this, is, this is in its own category, okay? Here's what you're looking at with Cybertruck, right? Here's the thing. Unofficially, it has racked up 1256 thousand pre-orders. Now I know there's all the, the Tesla bears are already going to say, well, some of those people are going to cancel. Sure. Let's say half those people cancel. Let's say 50% of the people cancel. The number is still ridiculous, right? The number is still absolutely ridiculous. The numbers the Cybertruck's going to put up from 2023 through 2030 is going to be out of this world. I don't think what a lot of folks understand when it comes to Cybertruck is this is going to be by far and away the coolest vehicle in the world, you drive this vehicle up and you drive any other vehicle in the world at any price point, and no one is gonna care about the other vehicle. They will only care about the Cybertruck. This is by far and away, and that includes any Tesla. I don't care, I could be, have my Model S Plaid and be like, oh, look at how fast it's going. No one's gonna care about that. It's the Cybertruck, right? It doesn't matter what you pull up in. You could pull up in an astronaut vehicle. Okay, maybe an astronaut vehicle might get more attention. But the Cybertruck is a whole different game changer. This is going to have the world's attention once again. And this is something that I think is going to start to come to people's mind in probably around the, the, the end or the middle of 2022. When this starts to get into production. They've talked about going into production in late 2022. Also, Tesla's been ahead when it comes to production past vehicles. Doesn't mean they're going to do it again for Cybertruck, but they've been ahead in the past, right? And when this baby hits the market, what is everybody going to be talking about? Cybertruck, Cybertruck. The demand's going to go insane, and everybody's going to, it's going to be the talk of the town. It's going to be the talk of every city. And if you have the Cybertruck, it is the coolest thing in the whole world when it comes to vehicles. And you're going to get this big boom cycle that happens for Tesla again, the hype cycle around Cybertruck, the vehicle that investors have forgotten. The vehicle that social media has forgotten in the short term, and this baby is not that far from production. And imagine the numbers Cybertruck's gonna put up, you know, from basically 2023 to 2030. It's gonna be ridiculous. I think this is gonna be one of those trucks that not only truck people wanna get, but people that don't even care about trucks. Like, heck, I have one on order and I don't even care about trucks. It's just, it's so ridiculously cool that I'm like, I gotta get a Cybertruck. Like, it's insane, man. So, Yes, this is a massive deal. Don't let anybody forget about this because believe me, when it gets closer to production, everybody and their grandma is going to be talking about this. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. Massive deal coming on for the private stock group. It's literally coming next week. So it's the coolest thing other than the Cybertruck sale. Uh, basically coming up next week, guys. If you want to get notified as soon as the deal drops, I'll send you a notification when the deal drops. Fill out that. It's pinned comment down there. Much love as always and have a great day. Don't forget about that Cybertruck, baby. Woo! Oh!